Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Shadow Blades here again today with another Tips and Tricks video. Today we're going to be covering the Arena War cars. So last week there was a big sale. The Arena War itself, uh, the, the workshop and the cars were on sale. And I happened to pick up every single one and kitted them all out, got them ready to go. So I can show you in this video. Now in this video I'll be showing you some of the upgrades for some of them as well as some of the other stuff. Um, now there's a Mark II weapon station inside there as well in the arena um, workshop, which is nice. You can also upgrade the Bandito here, which was also on sale last week. I did buy all the cars, and I'm gonna be buying all the cars from here on out and upgrading them. I'm going to do some more car videos. If you guys are interested in that, please leave a like and comment, say yes, cars. Uh, so I know you guys wanna see that kind of stuff. Uh, and if not, then comment tips if you want more tips and tricks, or funny if you want more funny, because I'm kind of trying to branch out a little bit and see what I can cover, but anyway. So, the first things first, I got the Bandito here. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever use it. I also got the RC tank uh, while it was on sale last week, and yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to use these things, but <laughs> I own them now. I'm at the point now where I do own, uh, I think, every business. Um, or a facility or a garage thing that I can own that's of importance. Um, so I'm going to be upgrading everything I have. So right now it's pretty much I'm just looking at all the new cars. Uh, me and my buddy are kind of just going through kitting them all up and seeing what we can get. Now obviously the best cars in my opinion so far that I've seen have got to be these. If you're just starting out in the game I'd say probably not the best investment. But it does kind of put the Armored Karuma to shame as well as the Duke of Death. They were pretty high up on my list until I saw these cars, and I know there's other armored cars that are pretty good too. But these ones, I think every single one of them has spikes on it that can potentially kill anybody that walks into the car. If somebody tries to steal your car and they accidentally walk into it, they will die. <laughs> as well as the blades on most of these cars to pop tires. If somebody's trying to chase you down, it pops tires. I haven't tested it to see if it breaks uh, bulletproof tires yet. But we will be finding that out uh, very shortly now that we've got all these nice new vehicles and we get to go test them out. Uh, you might have seen earlier I did put, um, I believe, one or two of my newer vehicles in a video. But this is going to be covering most of the other ones as well as some of the upgrades to them. Now, one thing I got to note, um, if you're looking to buy these cars, they are very expensive. And I would recommend knowing what you want to get before you get it. Um, see, what I did, the first one I bought was this one, and I bought it as the white version, thinking nothing of it, and these ones you can be painted, but they don't have certain decals that other ones do. So this one is going to be your more uh, cleaner looking car. Uh, you can paint it in whatever color you want. You can put the whatever you want to make it look nice. Um, but it doesn't have extra attachments such as the rust buckets, or that's what I call them, the rusty versions will have extra attachments like skulls and other kind of neat things to make it look like it's from the movie Death Race or something. It's just, it just really looks neat. These ones look more polished. Now some people might want more of the polished look. And then there is the, what I deem the clown car looking ones that are like multicolored that just look kind of funky. I honestly didn't get any of those. I just got a couple of rust buckets and I got a couple of these ones. So I could paint them up nice. Now this one I decided I'm going to go chrome because I kind of liked it on the first car. <laughs> some of the pump, some of the spoilers just look ridiculous on it. Um, personally, I find a spoiler can kind of ruin a car sometimes, but it's just all depending on how you like it looking. I figured this is more sporty looking, so I wanted to keep it looking pretty decent. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty good, I think. Um, I like the chrome on it. Chrome costs a bit. Um, and it depends on what vehicle you're upgrading to what you need. Uh, if you're looking at upgrading like engines and stuff, uh, you can do races. There's an easy race. Uh, I can show a guide on that a little later. Or if you reach like, I think it's level 100 or level 120, you unlock almost everything and the only thing you need to win in races is some um, some special colors that you can paint your car. But it's rally races and it becomes more time consuming to do that. But once you reach level 100, you should be able to put all of your, I think it's 100 or 120, you can put all your engine upgrades into any car as well as it unlocks a lot of paint colors for many cars. As you can see, this car can jump as can any Arena War car um, or truck or anything. Any, all of them have a jump. The jump itself cost, I think, like four or five hundred thousand per car, so it was pretty expensive. It took some time to do this, and yeah. 
you guys enjoy this content, please like, comment, share, and subscribe because it helps out my channel. Uh, I've been running this channel for about a month and a half now, and I am just absolutely amazed. I got 27 subscribers already. Thank you, everybody. Um, kind of actually have a goal of hopefully reaching 100 by the end of the year. Or not the end of the year, but within a year. Because then I might get a uh, YouTube plaque, apparently. Apparently at 100 subscribers, they sent you a bronze plaque or something. Well, that sounds really cool. I kind of like the idea of that. I honestly started up to have fun, and I'm still having fun by by all means, but it's actually kind of cool. I kind of have a little goal here. So I'll definitely be pumping out lots more videos. I hope you guys enjoy this stuff. As you can see, this thing is just, like, unstoppable. And that's why I said it puts the Duke of Death and the um, Armored Karuma to shame. But this is also, like, probably closer to 5 million more than those cars. So it's still, it's pretty expensive, but it's sweet. You can change the smoke on the tires, neons. You can even change the headlights. That's one thing I really like, and I hope they bring into more vehicles. So the headlights on this are actually green, which just look really, really cool in my opinion. The green's my favorite color. Um, but yeah, I think it's really, really sweet, and they're just powerful. As you can see, I got quite a few uh, rides in here. Um, some of the videos, I think I just, I lost, I don't know, I had, I had an issue with my system, my disk drive stopped, so I had to actually delete the download version, and, or sorry, delete the disk version, and then download it, so, that's why another reason there's been a bit of a hiatus, is because I had to download a couple new games. I'm hoping it fixes itself, it's kind of stuck in lock, I think it's maybe from running my system so long over the last, like, month, between uploading videos at night, playing the game through the day, I think I kind of burning the system a little bit at both ends kind of deal. <laughs> as you can see, some of these cars, as soon as you upgrade them to the, um, I want to call them the Mark II, but the um, the Arena War version, um, they get really crazy. Like this, I think this is the one that shocked me the most. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, this is the one. As you can see, there's three variants, and yeah, look at that. <laughs> it's like a totally different car. <laughs> I was not expecting that out of that. This one also shocked me a little bit too, but in the other way. I was like, this is going to be a monster truck too. And then it like literally turns into half a truck. <laughs> it looks pretty sweet when it's souped up, but yeah. When I saw that, I was like, oh, the back looks pretty cool. <laughs> this one, before I even, well, just on the first upgrade, I kind of thought like, oh, no, that doesn't really change much. But I actually upgraded. It looks pretty sweet now. I could show another video of like racing these all around and smashing up a bunch of stuff. Like I find in Arena War Car, that's one downside to it is that every time I drive one, I end up with like three, four star felony just from driving because I end up like trying to switch my lights and then I turn on like drop of mine and I'm running into things and blowing cars up and it's like an accidental four star felony. As you can see, I don't think I put any single car to a clown car. And when I bought the other three primary, or the five primary sets, four of them I ended up buying as rust buckets, um, not knowing I couldn't paint them. So, just a heads up on that. Um, I think I do have a couple of rust buckets in here. As you can see, the top ones were rust buckets there. Um, they just don't look quite as nice and polished. But there's some cars I'm kind of happy I got as a rust bucket, just because, um, honestly, it looks like it's something from... You know, Death Race or something, the movie. Um, actually, there's there's two, two or three vehicles I have that I feel like they're right from that movie, especially the truck. Now, uh, since I've upgraded all my cars, I actually have put all of them at my arena or at my arcade. Oh, I accidentally hit that guy. He is also a crew member, and that was an accident. So I stopped to text him and say, I'm sorry. And then I think he ran right into it. Just to show off how deadly they are. <laughs> I didn't move. As you can see, I'm parked still. And running into any part of my car is fatal. So if you turn no access onto your vehicles, um, then this kind of stuff happens. It's kind of funny. Four door zero. And I haven't even moved. <laughs> But yeah, anyway, I put all of my uh, arena cars that fit into my arcade so that if ever anything happens in our lobby, 
I can just pull these out if my oppressor gets blown up. I can just pull these out and I, I believe they have some rocket proofing to them. Tested a couple of them and they seem to survive quite a few rockets as well as some vehicles including I believe one or two of these arena war vehicles can't be locked onto with an oppressor which is an incredible ability. Um, I know one of the minis is that has that ability which is actually really amazing because a lot of people will fly around with oppressors uh, and just blow you up because they can lock onto you easily but some vehicles actually have an ability where it doesn't. This is that one I said looked boring after I upgraded it and now it's like my green monster. And here's the truck I wasn't sure about. Now it came out actually a lot better than I expected it to. Um, I really wasn't expecting too much from it when I saw it but it actually looked pretty sweet once I put a couple upgrades on it. Now most of the cosmetic parts of this wasn't so bad, but there is, I believe, four or five attachments where they're each 300,000 or so. Um, they get more and more expensive. You can get the discounts for it if you play in the Arena War. And during this week, uh, last week, the week I upgraded these, um, there was a uh, double money, a triple money on Arena War, but I didn't really much care for the Arena War play itself. It's it felt a little bit like um, a cheaper reboot of um, Twisted Metal, to be honest. Twisted Metal, way back when, I still say they need to make another one of those, but. Twisted Metal way back from, I think, PS2 was the last one I saw, I think. Um, they haven't made one of those in a while. Anyway, this felt like a Twisted Metal kind of reboot almost, but it wasn't quite as good. And I don't know, I, I couldn't get into it quite as much, but I do enjoy the cars themselves. They're pretty sweet to play with and uh, have fun with. I plan on uh, testing them versus each other um, and all the other stuff. I'll be having more videos on that as well. I just want to show you what some of these look like, so if you ever wanted to buy one, you can kind of get an idea what they look like. Um, I'd say probably if you're not getting them on sale or you you know want to keep the costs lower, I'd say pick one or two maybe, because all in all, they're all pretty much the same vehicle. They're all pretty much the same speed. Some of them handle a little bit better than others, um, and some of them hit a little harder than others. There are three. Uh, that won't fit in any other garage other than the uh, Arena War garage, so that's something to keep in mind. The big transport truck, the um, the other truck that turns into the fist one, and the other one that looks like a monster truck limo, which you saw earlier in the video. Those three do not fit in a normal garage. Now my buddy was kitting up some cars. He likes uh, buying all the cars. I meant to jump over him and I kind of landed on him. He wasn't too happy after just fixing up his brand new car. But accidents happen. And uh, I'm sure he'll get me back for that later. But as you can see, he likes getting up all the other cars. He did get the Arena War cars with me, so he has all these as well. Different colors, different uh, attachments on his. They all look a little bit different. Um, but I think his nightclub... I think it's 60 cars or something like that. <laughs> Look at that roll. Um, I believe it's somewhere around 60 cars or more that he's fixed up. He's, he's going through all of the uh, cheaper cars first, fixing them up, and then he's going to get into the more expensive ones, whereas I'm going the opposite. I kind of go for all the expensive ones first, get them set up where I want them, and then um, go for the cheaper ones later like I'll probably put all the cheaper ones in my light club kind of like what he did a big area for all the nicer um, fast cars more or less I mean welcome to Grand Theft Auto 2020 you cannot own a fast car and say it's a good car anymore you know, these things roaming around the streets each single one of these has proximity mines that you can change between I think six different variants they all have a RAM obviously you can tell that um, you can change their lights especially on these like the headlights to match the neon lights uh, and they also have laser cannons and jump so all around some of the best vehicles you could probably own uh, aside from maybe like I said the oppressor I'd say the oppressor kind of 
beats everything because you can fly away and stuff, but it doesn't have any protection, whereas these have a lot of protection, but if somebody's got explosives, then, you know, it all kind of counters out, kind of like a rock, paper, scissors game. They all have their own perks. But, like I said earlier on in the video, the Armored Karuma and Duke of Death really don't stand much against these. Like, this is like the rival to the Duke of Death, and I honestly think it looks a lot better. Now, this is one of the rust buckets. As you can see, all the attachments on the hood and everything, all the spikes and skulls and stuff. I do have a couple of these that look pretty sweet in my opinion, um, but I'm happy I didn't get them all rust buckets because I'd be disappointed if one of them wasn't a little bit shiny. But that looks like something almost from the movie Death Race or something. Um, as you can see, this one's like the normal, uh, it's just like the white version. Um, and you can paint it any color you want. And then yeah, so it goes rust bucket, the plain version, the white version that you can just spray paint any color, and then the rainbow version. Um, I'll see if my friend has any uh, rainbow ones that I can get a you know a video of quickly to show you guys some of that stuff when I'm testing all these out. As I said, I did already test out one of the monster truck versions, and I do have a couple other ones at the end of this. I just wanted to show you kind of all the different cars. This one, uh, I got this one just because my buddy's from the UK. Honestly, uh, it's tiny. If if I can say anything, it's one of the fastest ones. Um, and I think it handles pretty decently. But it's just such a tiny car. Like, in real life, I don't think I'd fit in this thing. I'm too tall and I'm too jolly. <laughs> I'm like Santa Claus. I got a bowl full of jelly. A belly full of jelly. So something. Belly like jelly. Something like that. <laughs> I hope you guys get a laugh out of some of these videos. Um, but yeah, anyway, as you can see, this one was actually one of my favorites because... Yes, that. Mortar on the back. I haven't been able to test it yet because I think that's the second, like, it takes two players to use it. But that was one of my favorite things about this. And as you can see, it's pretty fast. It does have some good ramming. Um, it handles really good. And all around, it's pretty good. Um, it jumps, like, pretty impressively for these vehicles. But <laughs> I, I, I kind of just have a chuckle playing with it because... It makes me think of when my buddy kind of throws minis in on me on an aggressive heist and we're trying to escape in a mini. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, I'm going to have some gameplay of some other stuff coming up here. I will be having a lot more videos. I think I have about plans for 18 more right now. I just got to have the time to record them and then edit them uh, to get them to where I want them to be. Uh, but yeah, there will be lots more coming up soon. I'm going to have some videos that might be more geared towards beginners and, and novice people to let them know how to use certain things, um, as well as some more advanced stuff to help out with some people when they're doing heists or when they're doing this or that or the other kind of thing. Uh, there's quite a few different things i got ideas for to put in my videos. Um, if you guys like it, just uh, leave a thumbs up. It really helps out with the YouTube algorithm to promote the video, and it lets me know you guys enjoy this. Um, as well as feel, feel free to comment if you got any questions or you want to say anything, you know. Any feedback's good. I'm kind of new to this YouTube thing, a month and a half in, and I'm pretty impressed with the progress I'm making. If you guys have any tips or any ideas that you'd like to see, just feel free to let me know. And if I can do it, I'll probably put it on. I do have some uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Zombies recorded. I just need to edit it, but it's very long because we uh, was two-player up to around 40, I think, so... That's a fair amount of time playing that game. Um, but I'm going to primarily stick with the Grand Theft Auto, at least for right now. Um, as I said, i got quite a few more videos for this, and then maybe I might move over to uh, some Black Ops uh, 4 Zombies, or maybe even some Skyrim or something at some point. It's going to be another five years till we get another one, probably, so might as well. And <laughs> Grand Theft Auto is going to be along for a while, because Grand Theft Auto 6 is delayed now, because they're rebooting this for the PS5 with more content apparently so I know there's a lot of people not happy about that personally I'm kind of just getting back into Grand Theft Auto 5 so I'm just as good with it uh, as long as I get to bring over everything in my profile from here to the next one I'll be happy if not I'll probably be very upset because this uh, they're doing a giveaway right now one million dollars every month until it releases in 2021 so you're gonna get a couple million before then but if you can't carry it over it does us no good right so, fingers crossed to everybody that our profiles will all carry over to the PS5 when it does come out. And hopefully the extra content is going to be awesome. 
what I've seen here since the release, like when I played it way back when, they've added so much stuff. I'm pretty impressed with it. But they're definitely going to have to do something big if they're going to delay number six for a while. Because number six was supposed to have three different maps in one game. Uh, three or four different maps in one game. So they got to do something really big with this one in order to make it happen. But I have a theory that it's going to involve something in the sewer tunnels. Because it looks like there's construction under there. But that's just speculation. That's not off of anything. Uh, but if you look when you're in the sewer doing the heist or if you just go down the sewers... In the bottom, you know where I'm talking about when you get away from the police in there. Um, you'll see some stuff under construction. I have a feeling that there's going to be some sort of new doomsday facility underneath there. I don't know if it's going to interfere with that getaway spot. I hope it doesn't, but we'll never know till we see it. But all in all, I don't really see how they could add other places into the map other than underground there, which looks like it's under construction and there's construction work there's there all the time, as well as maybe just some new stuff in City Shores. But we'll see when that comes. As it's going to be a couple months away, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of speculation. Possibly some leaks, we'll see. I'll keep you updated if I hear anything. But as of right now, all PlayStation 4 Plus um, players are getting $1 million every month for the next uh, couple months. As well as the double money bonuses and events and sales and stuff. So we got lots of stuff coming. So stay tuned, I'll keep you updated on what I hear. And I'll keep you updated on uh, more of my cars and stuff. And all the other tips and tricks videos that I have for you. This one's a little bit longer. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, it had to be a little longer because there were so many different vehicles to go through. Um, but yeah, I'll be testing out and showing these off uh, pretty soon. But yeah, these are all Arena War cars that I've got upgraded. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Thanks again to all my viewers and subscribers. Appreciate you all. Have a good one and uh, take care, everybody. Thanks again. Have a good day, everybody.